It's my pleasure to welcome back Saylane from the Palm Canyon Theater. And see, you're getting ready to do one of my favorite shows of all time. Lay Miz is coming to the stage. Yes, we're all excited. Wonderful. So glad you. We, we'll get you in. We'll get you in. We'll get you okay. in. I'm going to be there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I think I've seen that show probably half a dozen times. The first time I saw it was on Broadway. It was amazing. Uh, oh. But I, I think the traveling cast that I've seen a couple times is even better. So uh, this is yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Big cast for this show. <laughs> It is a big cast. Um, we found that with COVID and us being a not-for-profit, educational-oriented, it's uh, what do the what does the audience want? What do the actors want? And the actors really want to be in Les Mis. So luckily, they're very passionate about storming the barricade, <laughs> filling the guns, and shooting them, and yeah. <laughs> You know, being we, lovely ladies <laughs> lovely ladies and, and and fantastic songs with just great lyrics i mean it's, it is one of those truly evocative scores from broadway and you don't want to cut anything it's three hours long and we're all saying cut 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 for our audiences right right but then our actors are like but i've got to finish that song you can't cut that <laughs> yeah yes beautiful well, and, you know, Les Mis obviously is a is a known commodity. So people go, they know they're getting I mean, like w when I go see Les Mis, I'm expecting the full three hour spectacle. That's what I'm looking for. So, uh, OK, I will tell them all you said that. <laughs> That's right. Don't cut a thing. Uh, I've secretly always wanted to play Javert, but. Uh, oh, yeah. the villain but, in you, huh? <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, he, he, with with a little I don't want to give it away for people who haven't seen it, but there's there's re redemption for Javert. Right. In, right. in a sense, but it is, you know, it's a great classical story. Uh, and, but also there's a, there are a lot of moving parts. Tell me, you know, as a community theater organization, how do you guys tackle some of the, the really demanding technical aspects of the show? Um, we've, um, JW, luckily we're 25 years old. And so we have a lot of this in stock, having air casters and different things that we found works safely in the past that you can make, um, you can turn things around more, use other parts of the auditorium more so than flying stuff in and having extra, yeah, things that come in and lower and move and right, right. But everything's pretty right there in your face and we just go from scene to scene to scene, so. Uh, yeah. We are looking forward to it. I personally am looking forward to it, but I know our audience is going to enjoy it. Uh, when do you open with this show? We open the 28th of January. We moved it back a week for, for safety and for COVID, and um, we're doing everything by the COVID standards. So um, it's the 28th. And one thing that we're excited about is the fact that when we do these huge, huge musicals in a smaller space, we can really evolve the plot and dimension, have a lot more dimension in it than just a concert version of it. An audience will say, well, I had no idea they went from here to here. I have no idea that they really felt bad about what they were doing. Like for Javert, I had no idea that he was a humble, pious, um, almost religious man that wanted to be pure. He wanted to do things correctly and right, you know, instead of a villain. Well, he says this and this and this. And so in a smaller space, well, we will look forward to that. We're putting up all the information on the screen. PalmCanyonTheater.com, correct? Yes. PalmCanyonTheater.com, where you can get tickets. It starts the 28th and runs through? February 13th. Can't wait to see the show. Lay Miz, just you know, one day more. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you.